Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. This is Rajat Trivedi from Setpa Infotech Private Limited. Today I am going to introduce you about the emerging mobile technology. Hope you all heard about this technology that is Android. So starting with the basic introduction of our company, Setpa is one of the growing training and development company in India. This stands from embedded system, PHP, Linux, Java, Katia, PLC SCADA, etc. So here we go and start with the basic introduction to the cell phone evolution. Whether you are an expert mobile engineer, a desktop or a web developer or complete programming novice, Android represents an exciting new opportunity to write innovative application for Android devices. Evolution of Cellular Telephony Bell Laboratories introduced the idea of cellular communication in 1947 and Mr. Martin Cooper known by many as the father of the cellular phone because he made first cellular phone in 1973 and he worked with Motorola. So going further, let's look at the Android. Android. Android which Google acquired in 2005 and launched on phone in 2008. Google Android platforms had taken almost 50% of global smartphone markets and it includes 12 million lines of code, 3 million lines of XML, 2.8 million lines of C, 2.1 million lines of Java, 1.5 million lines of C++. So, what Android provides us? It provides commonly used programming language that you all know, Java. Uh, what Java provides Android, that is the one of the big thing, that is security. And the second thing is, it uses the Eclipse IDE, that is integrated development environment. And one more thing that Android provides us, that is inbuilt emulator, that, uh, that is we need not require additional hardware to test our program and applications. And it is open source. So there is no need to pay a single penny to purchase the software or any other thing to develop the Android applications. Now let's have a look at the Android that what is Android. Android is software stack for mobile devices that includes an operating system, middleware and key applications. So have a look at the software stack. Software stack is a set of software subsystems or components need to deliver a fully functional solution like LAMP. LAMP is stands for Linux, Apache Server, MySQL and PHP and uh, middleware. Middleware is software that connects software's components or peoples and their applications. The software consists of a set of services that allows multiple processes running on one or more machine and internet so application software also known as apps is computer software designed to help the user to perform singular or multiple related tasks like uh, you using uh, alarm apps, camera apps, etc. Now we have a look at when Android begins. In October 2003, Android Incorporation was founded in California, USA by Andrew, Andrew Rubin and his four friends. Google acquires Android INC in August 2005 and uh, making Android INC a whole owned subsidiary of Google INC. Key employees of Android INC is including Andrew Rubin and his three friends and they make a company, uh, started a company that is the Open Handset Alliance is business alliance of about 84 companies to develop open standard for mobile devices. The member of uh, this company is uh, Google, HTC and many more. Now one thing must come into our mind that why we use Android for mobile development or mobile application development. So first thing is, this is fully integrated bundle of software, hence it is significantly low the current cost of developing mobile applications, mobile devices, mobile services. And the second thing, the Android is licensed under one of the most progressive open source license that is Open Handset Alliance. So you have the freedom to design to develop your own apps or your own products in Android. And Android use the uh, Java structures to give you a fully uh, secure environment or fully secure apps and in the word of uh, Rubin's uh, that they wanted to develop a smarter mobile device that are more aware of its own location and preferences. Now we have a look at how Android works. Here you can see that they are, there are uh, five layers. First one is Linux kernel. So Linux kernel in Android we use 2.6 version of Linux kernel and why they use Linux kernel because Linux kernel is a lightweight process so Linux kernel the Linux kernel helps these libraries 
to build freely the applications or manage the, all the power management manage the resources and these are some works done by the linux kernel in android now the libraries the android is an open source software stack that includes the operating system middleware the key mobile application along with the set of api libraries for writing mobile applications that can shape the look feel and function of mobile handsets small stylish versatile modern mobile devices have become more powerful tools so these li libraries supports the android to make these powerful applications and uh, android runtime core libraries have java libraries c++ libraries uh, and etc and the uh, dalvik virtual machine this is register based machine which supports all the android functions and used to run the android applications or to test our android applications now application framework here you can see there are many managers here at activity manager windows manager content provider resource manager location manager these are some classes that is provided in the android api which supports us to develop powerful applications wonderful applications and imagine application amazing applications and these are applications that you use android has incorpor incorporate camera media player gps system and touch screens as technologies has evolved mobile phones have become about more than simply making calls so many applications android supports and now we have a look at the some android phones so you can see they have touch screen big size of screen many applications camera now have a look at the version of android first version of android is android 1.0 comes into the market 23 september 2008 and the second one is cupcake third one is donut fourth one is 2.0 eclairs fifth one is 2.2 froyo and sixth one is 2.3 gingerbread this is one of the uh, biggest or one of the widely used android version that is android 2.3 gingerbread and the seventh one is 3.0 honeycomb and the latest one is jelly beans android 4.1 version this is the uh, latest version of android that is coming to the market very shortly and uh, here we are look at the android distribution that i i have already told you that uh, Uh, the ginger breed is one of the widely used version of android and the second one is 4.0 ice cream sandwich and the third one is 2.2 2.2 eclairs so in android api features hardware sensor uh, access video recording location based services support for background services map based activity relational database these apis will help you to create your own applications but today I will tell you some more features available from the Android development platform. Android has powerful API APIs, excellent documentation, a thriving developers uh, experience, no development or distribution cost. A mobile device continuing to increase in population or in popularity. This is an exciting opportunity to create innovative mobile phone applications. So now we have a look at the emulator that is used for our testing of our applications so you can see uh, here is an keyboard a calling button a calling disconnecting button a power button search button back button menu button home button so it is so friends now it's time to have a look at our development environment that is ide eclipse and i am using the eclipse juno for our application development so first of all uh, let me introduce you about our new project that is media a media player a smart application a small application so you can make it in within 5 minutes so here you can see there is a class called music player that we have created and it extends the activity class that is its mother class and it is mother class of every activity in our project and it impl it implements an interface that is called on click listeners 
and we have to override all the methods of on click listener so here I have used three buttons B1 B2 and B3 and you can see in the layout part of our project I just drag and drop three buttons like if you want to add one more button then just drag and drop here so you can add anything that you want in your app I want three buttons first one is start second one is pause and the third one is stop first one is to start the song second one is to pause the song and the third one is to stop the song so it is very easy and simple to create and layout in android so here we are going to the our coding part I just use a method that is find view by id it works like a bridge to between the xml file and the java file so find view by id get the id of button 1 that this is uh, the start button and the second one is pause button and the third one is the stop button and I set three certain click listeners these click listeners listen the action of the buttons as as the button is pressed it follow the command and uh, executes and here I use uh, the reference variable to create the media player and I just place a song in the folder that is named raw folder this one and I place three conditions first one is if button B1 is pressed then start the song button B2 is pressed then then pause the song and if button B3 is pressed then stop the song and this is very simple application you can create within two or three minutes so it's very easy stuff to create applications in android now I'm going to run our application go to the project right click run as android application so now you can see your output right here this is our emulator look like an real device so there are three buttons that we have said before so you can start the song from right here and you can pause the song from right here and you can restart it and can stop from right here so it is very easy stuff to make applications in android so guys if you are uh, familiar with any programming language then it is easy for you to learn android so so friends if you want to learn and enhance your knowledge in android you have to come setpa and we are situated in noida lucknow rurki mohali hopefully guys you like this video and thanks for watching